What are we going to make today? So today we are preparing polenta, mm -hmm. the Italian polenta, mm -hmm. with some mushroom mm -hmm. um, cream. Okay. Um, it's just an experiment because practically I have never prepared with these ingredients because I couldn't find the ingredient that I usually use in Italy. Okay. So let's, let's try this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, I am um, cooking some fresh uh, mushrooms mm -hmm. and then I am putting into water mm -hmm. soak into water warm water for 30 minutes mm -hmm. uh, these uh, dry mushrooms okay. and then we just uh, remove the water rinse and squeeze and then add to the fresh uh, mushrooms that are cooking okay. and I just always always with polenta you have to include porcini because mm -hmm. it is very a uh, strong taste mm -hmm. and is perfect for polenta okay. and then I am mixing this cheese and probably I will put also some parmesan and mozzarella cheese from Kraft uh, because I want to create this cream and because canna mm -hmm. does not exist in in the States I'm okay. using a half and a half that is a sort of milk mm -hmm. uh, is just to create the juicy part mm -hmm. so let's start with um, putting some warm water and uh, the dried mushrooms okay so they have to Stay there for 30 minutes. Mm, that's a long time. Yeah, but in the meantime, we will cut and clean the fresh mushrooms. smell it's just to give flavor because the fresh mushrooms have not a strong flavor okay so we just need some pieces to give some more flavor to the sauce mm. as you can see I just use some bites here yeah. and there to, without exaggerating mm -hmm. and they are just rehydrating now for 30 minutes and the water is just room temperature, not too, not too hot, not too cold, and that's it. Okay. Of your fresh mushrooms, mm -hmm. and because they obviously have some dirt, we will wash them well, and then we will scrape out the. We will peel them. So I don't know this uh, kind of uh, mushroom shiitake, but I think no. But I, I don't know them, so let's try them. Okay. Uh, I never really used them before. I think they are clean already, but just in case we can clean after cleaning these. So how to clean these and peel them? Under cold water, mm -hmm. you just wash them. If you have a little sponge for food, mm -hmm. you can spray them a little. I think just washing them like this is enough. And now, with a small, um, with a small knife, 
we are peeling them how to peel them so we start from the bottom you take out the bottom mm -hmm. and then here under the head of the mushrooms mm -hmm. you start peeling it out okay. like this oh one by one okay. and practically all the part that is dirty was in contact with the soil mm -hmm. or is a little stain will be out okay. will come out and what remain is the clean mushroom beneath. Yes, white, white. Yeah, the white part. And then you do here all along the mushroom. May break a little, is okay, it's normal. Mm -hmm. And when you will clean all around, you will reveal the part that is beneath, mm -hmm. the hat, that is this internal part. And at that point, uh, you need to wash it. Okay. Because need to be washed again to enter into the spaces. Mm -hmm. So you just peel well. You see, uh, if the the stem is damaged, you can peel a little bit. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's more clean, so that's okay. Mm -hmm. And then we would peel all of them and cut them. So now that we have peeled all the mushrooms, mm -hmm. we wash well inside. Okay. Take me to all the water. Just like this. Mm -hmm. And wash them again. And take some of this shiitake that I don't know well. Mm -hmm. I have never tried. I guess. Mm -hmm. As you can see, mm -hmm. as you can feel, there is no much of a yes, smell. Yes. So, uh, usually mushroom needs a little of garlic. I don't like garlic, so I don't put it. Mm -hmm. But if you like garlic, you can take just a little piece without opening it. Oh. Just uh, a clove of garlic. Okay. Close, not mm -hmm. open. Mm -hmm. And just put in here with a um, toothpa uh, toothpick. Mm -hmm. And then remove, just oh, to give I a little see. of flavor. Okay. But not too. Now we let them cook. Yes. 
salt. This is a little of pink salt. Okay. And then obviously black pepper. This time is um, medley. Medley. So there are all three um, all three stages of okay. the maturation of the pepper. Mm -hmm. You can see how our dry mushrooms are taking again some water hydrating yeah. back. Yes. Good. And for now, that's it. Okay. Ah, and if we want to put some, uh, add some uh, water to this, mm -hmm. we can take a little of this water that is a little more flavory because okay. of the mushrooms mm -hmm. and stir them and they will cook for a few minutes mm -hmm. and then we will add the dried mushroom we do it okay smells so good so so good is that the chin color mm -hmm. and no it's Waiting, we are waiting a little more for the other mushroom to hydrate. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So from the smell and from the consistency and the color, you can see it's that ready. they are ready. Mm. Do you want to try one? Okay. Oh. 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 They need more salt, salt maybe? I think it's, it's good for me. It is good for me at least. Do you think? Mm. Good? Okay. They need to cook a little more. Okay. So we can use a little of this water just to keep them um, cooking. But then we need to rinse them. Let them cook another 10-15 minutes and we can move them on the small one so we okay. have the space. Mm. So I will see this and then we can start cooking the cheese. Ooh, we need to cook cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, cheese. They so are ready. We are going to melt cheese. Okay. So let's change here, let's clean here. 
Take just a little of butter. Just a little of butter? Yeah. Just to put on the bottom so it will not stick to the bottom. Very low temperature and we are not uh, using a high temperature okay. and then find it we use well, you can use whatever cheese you like okay this is not the cheese that they use in Italy but I can find what I used so I like this because it's creamy mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever had this I think I have this and so we open them and up. and then a cheese that I like mm -hmm. usually I like a lot with the polenta is gorgonzola that is something different, it's not from the blue cheese, it's not blue cheese, it's Gorgon's Italian sweet gorgonzola. This is not the highest quality, but it's fine. Oh, this is a lot of cheese. The smell is very strong, mm -hmm. you can smell it. Oh yes! Oh. So gorgonzola usually is very creamy, this is a little, you know, okay. Not the most high quality, but this will get that kind of a little uh, flavorish um, taste to the polenta. If you try a bite, it's very strong. Yeah, so strong. But we, when it's mixed with others, it's mm -hmm. just giving some flavor. Okay. And then we have our Italian mozzarella, mm -hmm. the one, the same one that we use for the pizza. Put a handful. Obviously, we have some Parmesan cheese. That one fresh, mm -hmm. it is maybe a higher quality, is good too. Mm -hmm. I have this in the freezer, so let's use this. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. to help everything to melt, half we half. use a little of half half. Mm -hmm. This is a, a bowl of mixed cheese. cheese. A little to and then you regulate by yourself about like the consistency mm -hmm. what you want is to obtain a cream okay. that is not a liquid cream but a uh, very consistent cream you add half and a half, just a little by little. You have to be very careful that the bottom is not. Um, yeah. This is very cool. This seems like a much deeper. Yeah, it has to be came like that with no. Um, clothing thing. Mm -hmm. So 
also very low temperature. This kind of sauce with the cheese you can also use uh, for the pasta. If you want a very fast pasta, you boil the pasta, you prepare this cream and then you put the cream in the pasta. Uh, it's perfect for gnocchi, it's perfect for a short pasta like macaroni or farfalle or whatever. Um, and this is what in America they call salsa fredo but that really does not exist in Italy. This mm -hmm. is for cheese sauce. Um, and uh, is how you do at home. Mm, you take three or four cheese, usually four, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and the Parmesan cheese obviously is usually included, mm -hmm. and you take four cheeses of your choice, mm -hmm. uh, usually white cheeses, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and you mix them. Mm -hmm. You can choose whatever you like, provolone, can be gorgonzola, can be um, whatever you like, mostly. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only concept is to add four cheeses. Completely melted. Mm -hmm. These are finishing cooking. So let's keep like this for just a few minutes. Okay. I add some more water so we can take a break. like this two or three minutes so they can finish cooking or melting in this case and then let's prepare the polenta and then it's done so many this is how many minutes four minutes mm. Mm. this is the mozzarella that is making that Looks like a little bit like all grease yogurt. Mm -hmm. okay. I think it's now ready and just perfect. Mm -hmm. So good. Love it. Oh, you have to so good. Okay. But I think we are good. ready to go. Okay. If I will have done the things, I'm not sure they are cooked. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between this? Oh, 
Lemon Tart and the cold meal. Are they the same thing? I think the, the way the grain uh, um, has been uh, um, crushed mm -hmm. because this is medium and in polenta you can also find uh, find the fine grain mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not sure if the American uh, cornmeal is the same okay the same consistency I mean the same grain granularity so let's follow the American instructions um, so we need to boil uh, the water and we need four and a half cups of water but I would do the half of that um, I would do the half of that mm -hmm. recipe okay so they, uh, they suggest four and a half I would do two and a half Okay. Okay. And then they are suggesting one and a half of Roland. So I would put like three quarter. Mm -hmm. Just a little of salt. Okay. As soon as we see bubbles coming up, we will just um, steer the potato inside. And to do that, we need oh, this stir. Oh, we need this. Okay. Boiling because you can see the little bubbles on the bottom, and mm -hmm. thanks to Manglu that we have the latex whisker. Yeah. We can add. half cup and before doing that we lower the temperature to low okay and we start adding very very slowly so usually the polenta is cooking in 50 minutes and you have to steer for 50 minutes oh but I purchased the quick cooking, mm -hmm. so it will take only a few minutes. Okay. It's still very liquid, but then uh, all, of the, all of a sudden we became very... Um, um, Stick. Yeah, hard to, to steer. Mm -hmm. We're just the wait for the magic moment to come. Yeah. So we said three quarters, so I need a, a little more to keep the proportions. Yeah, I think the magic moment is arriving. Ooh. You see how it's liquid at the border, but here is already more consistent. Yes, yes. So now we are mixing for about five minutes more, five to eight. Okay. It's absorbing all the water. So the reason why you want to continue to steer is because if you stop, it will just create clumps, big clumps, and the consistency when while you are eating it is not good. So mm -hmm. it has to be something smooth and 
free of clamps. So now that it's changing consistency, it's becoming like a little more difficult to steer. So you have to change the way you're steering into this oh. and more vigorously. Oh. Go, Papa! <laughs> Two or three minutes more. Okay, we are almost there. How often uh, will you make this in Italian? In winter? Often. Because okay. it's something you like and sometimes you even go up in the mountains mm -hmm. to eat some special um, combinations of polenta because this is the basic okay. but then you can mix also different kind of corns uh, mm -hmm. and flowers to, to have darker or white corn that there are different okay. uh, types and then you can do with meat you can do with ragu you mm -hmm. can do with mushroom you can do it with so many uh, different combination that mm -hmm. is almost like a pasta let's say mm -hmm. Good. And you go to the restaurant to have it because they don't do the quick one, they do the real one. Okay. 15 minutes. So you have to be fast because you don't want it to attach to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Now, that seems like it's almost ready mm -hmm. to detach it because you know otherwise it's coming out like this mm -hmm. we want to detach well from the pan and turn upside down okay we need we need to rise very high the temperature okay for just one minute mm -hmm. so it will just came out from the pan mm -hmm. so let's do it Okay. okay. One minute. You see that it's bubbling like that? Yes. Magic. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have to wait the moment. <laughs> the moment is coming. This is coming. We are waiting for it to cool down a little bit, right? Yeah. Because you want to keep the shape. This is the mushroom we just cooked. This is the mixed cheese. We just made it. Ah! Nice. Okay, I like the color. Then until it's still a little hot, mm -hmm. just a piece of butter here and there. Okay.
what do we call this? Polenta with cheese and mushrooms. Good.